in a world where danger lurks around every corner. There is one known as the greatest detective in the world, the ultimate crime fighter. The Batman. Tell me, do you bleed? You will. <laughs> and with this Batman build, you'll get more than just gadgets. You're stronger, faster, smarter. So don your cowl and get ready to take on the night. It's time to become the hero your world needs. Alright, so first things first, we're going to craft our gear. Today we're going to need to get a crossbow. You're going to want to get an echo shard. Heart of the Sea, and a Scoot. And then for that crossbow as well, I always say that you should get a quick charge book. It really makes the reloading process a lot faster. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to put that crossbow up with that enchanting book. And we're going to rename this Grappler. Now we're going to put that Echo Shard up there. This is going to become our Batarang. And then, same thing with the Heart of the Sea. This one here is going to become our Smoke Bomb. And then our Scoot. Now remember, don't kill any turtles. You don't get Scoots from killing them. You get Scoots from raising them and protecting them. This is going to be our Sonic Emitter. And now you have all the gear. In order to get it to work right though, we're going to have to work through these commands, but don't worry, I will tell you everything you need to know. So the first thing is, it's going to start off with this one repeating command block. This is where we're going to do our effects first, and then we're going to get in and work on each individual ability. Uh, so, it's going to start off with a slash test for, at A tag equals Batman. So we're looking for somebody who's got the tag Batman. Again, this one's repeating, always active, no tick. So how that would work is, as you can see, nothing is being powered right now. If I were to give myself the tag, tag, at S, add, Batman, it would power right up. Batman trains non-stop so that he can be stronger than the average human. Alright, he's faster, he's stronger, he's more resilient. This is done by having a copywriter run right off that repeating command block. Then I have some redstone dust going into another copywriter. This is a max ticked repeater heading out, and a max ticked repeater heading into it as well. Now I have some command blocks underneath some redstone dust. First one here, and these are all going to be zero delay, impulse, needs redstone. Slash effect at A, tag equals Batman, resistance 31 true. Next one here, very similar, slash effect at A, tag equals Batman, but we're going to do strength 32 true. Then over here, effect at A, tag equals Batman, speed, 32 true. Alright, so our first item that we're going to build with the command blocks is going to be the grappler. It's going to start off with a repeating command block that's always active. And this one here will have no delay. It's going to be slash test for at E, type equals arrow. And then I have a chain command block coming off that. Chain conditional, always active, zero delay. Slash execute at, at E, type equals arrow as at e type equals arrow run tp at a tag equals batman carrot carrot negative one carrot negative two facing at s true so it's going to execute as the arrow at the arrow's position and it's going to teleport you behind it facing it so that when you shoot the arrow it's going to pull you with it like a grappler and then off to the side i have a copywriter heading into an impulse command block this one has a delay of 40 ticks, and that is slash kill at E, type equals arrow. Because otherwise you would be stuck on that arrow. You can adjust that if you want it to be longer. You can adjust it if you want it to be shorter. It depends on what kind of distance you're typically going to be using your grappler for. Now we're on to the Batarang. This is going to be three main parts. Uh, this handles the actual throw, where the Batarang is going to be flying away from you. This handles the return. Uh, and then this section over here is the controller where we'll actually switch between the different modes. Uh, so starting off, this one here is the battering throw. It's repeating, needs redstone. Uh, and there's no delay on that. It's going to be slash execute at, at E, name equals battering. As at E, name equals battering. Run TP at S, carrot, 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 two. 
And then for the Batarang return, again, repeating, needs Redstone, no delay. It's going to be slash execute at, at A, tag equals Batman, as at A, tag equals Batman. Run TP, at E, name equals Batarang, carrot, 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 one, facing at S. So this one here is based on the Batarang's position when you throw it. And it's just going to teleport forward every game tick. And then this one is based on your position. And it's going to teleport the Batarang towards you, facing you. So you throw it. And this one powers that. And then when this one gets powered, it comes back to you. That's going to work because we're going to spawn in redstone blocks on these positions. So the first thing before we move on here, go ahead and grab your coordinates for the block right here, touching the Batarang throw. And then write that down. And you're going to want to do the same for this block here, touching the Batarang return. Now make sure that there is no other command blocks that are going to be touching those spots. Just the throw and return command blocks should be touched. Alright, so now let's get into the controller here. This one here is repeating always active, no delay. This one is just slash test for, at E, name equals Batarang. Now, right off to the side here, I have a comparator under a impulse command block. It's going to be slash set block, negative 12, 64, negative 2, redstone block. This one here has a delay of no ticks. So as soon as the Batarang gets detected, it's going to summon that in right here. And it's going to power the command block that makes the Batarang fly forward. Now off to the other side, I have this comparator heading into another impulse command block you'll see though this one has a delay of 30 that's going to be slash set block negative 12 64 negative 2 air so that's going to get rid of that block and replace it with air and then the chain command block here chain conditional always active no delay slash set block negative 12 64 negative 5 redstone block so after it gets rid of this and replaces it with air it's going to set a redstone block at this position. And this one is going to make the Batarang fly back to you. Now we have this one here as the last part of the controller that really switches the, the different modes around. And then this one controls the damage. This one here, repeating, always active, no delay. Slash execute as at A. Tag equals Batman. Has item equals item equals Echo Shard. So as soon as you get that Batarang back, going to run set block negative 12 64 negative 5 air and what that is going to do is it's going to replace this redstone block with air so now there won't be any redstone block the batarang will have no control it's just going to be an item until it gets dropped again and then for the damage repeating always active and then i have no delay it's going to be slash execute at at e name equals batarang run damage at e tag equals exclamation point batman because we don't want to hurt ourselves name equals exclamation point batarang because we don't want the item to hurt itself r equals two so it's looking for entities within a range of two and it's going to deal 10 damage as an entity attack so two hits from this should kill players all right now we are moving on for the smoke bomb this right here is going to be the smoke locator um, so that when you throw the smoke bomb down, the smoke area stays in that spot. And then this one here is the smoke effects. So starting off, we have a repeating command block. This one is going to be set for always active, no delay. Slash test for at E, name equals, and then in quotations, smoke bomb. Now I have a comparator coming off to the side here, and a repeating command block. Needs redstone, no delay. Slash TP at E, name equals, in quotations, smoke bomb. At A, tag equals Batman. So as soon as you throw it down, it's going to start teleporting that item back to you. And then on the other side, I have a comparator heading into an impulse command block. No delay. And that slash execute at, at A, tag equals Batman. Run summon armor stand named bomb, tilde, tilde, tilde. And the next one, chain conditional, always active. No delay. Slash effect at E, name equals bomb. Invisibility, 62 true. So you throw down your smoke bomb, it's going to give it right back to you, it's going to summon an armor stand into that location, named bomb, and it's going to make the armor stand invisible. And then I have another command block over here, repeating, always active, slash test for at E, name equals bomb. 
So as soon as the armor stand gets spawned in, this one is going to detect that. And I have a comp raider heading into an impulse command block here. This one is going to have a delay of 80 ticks. That's going to be slash kill at E, name equals bomb. And then over here, I have a comp raider heading into a repeating command block. This one, no delay. Slash execute at, at E, name equals bomb. Run particle, Minecraft, campfire, smoke particle, tilde, tilde, tilde. So this is one of the smoke particle effects that's going to happen at the armor stand's location. And then chain conditional, always active, no delay. Slash execute at, at E, name equals bomb. Run particle, Minecraft, huge explosion emitter, tilde, tilde, tilde. This is another one of those smoke particles. And then the last one here, chain conditional, always active. Slash effect at A, tag equals Batman, invisibility, 10 to true. So this is going to give Batman 10, 10 seconds of invisibility to get out of that smoke area and disappear. Because you know in all the animated series and the comics, when he throws down that smoke bomb, he usually uses it to disappear for a second, and then he can either escape, take down his foe, or do whatever he needs to do without being seen. And then last over here, we have the Sonic Emitter. This one is going to start off with a repeating, always active command block with no tags. Slash test four at E, name equals, in quotations, Sonic Emitter. And then I have a comp raider and an impulse command block. This one's going to have a no tick delay. It's going to be slash play sound horn.call.5 at A. That's going to be that THX sound that you hear when you drop the sound emitter. <laughs> Now coming out of the other side, I have a comp raider going into a repeating command block. No delay. Slash TP at E, name equals Sonic Emitter, at A, tag equals Batman. So as soon as you drop the item, this is going to give it back to you. And then when that runs, it's going to power comp raider. And then I have one, two, three. Three max ticked repeaters before another repeating command block. And this one has no delay. This one is slash execute at, at A, tag equals Batman. Run damage at E, tag equals exclamation point Batman, because you don't want to hurt yourself. Name equals exclamation point quotations, sonic emitter, because we don't want the item to hurt itself. R equals 10. So any entity within a radius 10 is going to then take 8 damage with an entity attack. However... This ends as soon as the item gets picked up by you, and I have a delay. So this is only going to run three times. So this is going to deal 24 damage to any entities within a 10 block radius. If you enjoyed becoming the Dark Knight, then you may want to become the Man of Steel. Learn to become the last son of Krypton. This is Browncoat67, I'll catch you next time.